everybody. I'm here with John, the producer of the game, DC Infinity. Right. Marvel Superheroes. That's right. How are you? I am fantastic. How are you? Good. I'm glad to be here. I want to know a little bit about this game, the production, and what is the difference about this game, about the others? Just elaborate me a little sure. bit more. Sure, absolutely. So, Disney Infinity Marvel Super Heroes is the second Disney Infinity game, and we have superheroes this time. One of our big focuses has been we have a, a huge catalog of characters to choose from, and we wanted to make them all feel very, very unique. Now, much more than before, you'll find that every single character feels like they should, and they feel very different. When you play with Spider-Man, he can do web swinging, he can climb up buildings, whereas Iron Man can fly, and he shoots with lasers, and they just feel very, very different. We also have more to do in the play sets, and we've got a bigger, better toy box than we ever had before. Right. Yeah. I was like uh, seeing, I say, and was talking to one of the one of the policies over here about yeah. about it. They were saying about you can build your own world, you can build your own story, and you can mix like Monster Inks with Frozen, or you know, like mixing all this stuff. Talk to me about this. Right. So, so Disney Infinity. Uh, is separated into two kind of major pieces. The first what we call play sets. Now we have the Avengers play set and the Spider-Man play set here. Now play sets are a world that is pre-built, it has a story, it has missions, and to play in the play set you have to have the right toys. If you want to play in Spider-Man you need one of the Spider-Man characters. If you want to play in the Avengers you gotta have an Avengers character. But on the other hand, the, the, the flip side of that is that we also have the toy box, what we call the toy box mode. And in the toy box you can build anything you want, you can mix and match all of the different properties, you can mix and match all the characters. You can bring in characters from the Avengers and Spider-Man and Disney and Pixar and anything else you want. You can bring there, you can build your own world, and you can share all of this with your friends. You can play it over the internet, you can play it together on the couch, however you like. Oh, that's awesome. So when are we going to expect to be this game out on the shop to everybody to buy it? You're going to be able to get anything you see here today this fall. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I want you to show me a little bit of the game. You know, I want to see you playing it. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure you're better than me doing this. Maybe so. a little. <laughs> okay, well, head me out so you can show yeah, me yeah. if like, there is a safe go. Okay. Okay, play me now. We are here. You play. can see I have all of Iron Man's abilities. I can fly. I can destroy things. Uh, I can shoot. And I can even make this guy really regret life. Watch this. Hang on. And like this. Wow. Right? Awesome. <laughs> so he's got a lot of abilities, but at the same time, anytime I want, I can grab a different character like Incredible Hulk. That's cool and that I you can don't have to actually restart the game like other games. Yeah, I don't have to stop. Character. Sure. Sorry. I can just keep playing. So now I'm the Incredible Hulk, and he's going to feel and operate very, very differently than Iron Man does. He's got different moves, he has different things that he's excellent at. But I've got a few tricks with the Hulk as well that are just kind of angry. <laughs> he can pick guys up and throw them around. He hits really, really hard. So every character has a lot about them that's unique and um, that just make them feel very different and the experience is very different. But they're all very, very powerful. They're all superheroes and they all feel like themselves. Okay. Uh, got super jump with the Incredible Hulk. I can climb up buildings and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to have this game. Me too. We're nearly done. Very, very close. Perfect, perfect. Well, thank you so much, John. Okay, now we are in the toy box. One right. of the, you know, one of the the things that the game have. Right. So talk to me about it. So this is the part of the game where we can build and combine anything we want to kind of make our own world. Everything you see in here is a toy that I, as a player, can add, remove, control, or change. So I can use my character to select this building. And I can just start deleting stuff if I want. I can start removing pieces. I can also move them around. I can take this piece of the building and I can decide to move it, place it somewhere else, right? So I have total control over this. Now, one of the things that's very, very new in Infinity, in Infinity 2 is that you do not have to build everything in the world yourself. We are actually giving people the ability to have the game build itself. I can place down, this is a, what we call a creator, this is a treehouse creator. I can place down this creator and as you can see it starts building that tree without me doing anything. 
it's okay. just working. You can see it's right now it's building out different branches and things. This is all done um, by the by the console and it's random and it will be different every single time. And you notice it's intelligent. It's not actually building on top of my piece of the building. It knows it's there and it's avoiding it. So before, to build a really beautiful, unique uh, toy box, you, could, you had to do it a piece at a time and it took a long time. And you can still do it that way and you have a lot of control. But if you want to just have a toy box that's unique, that's dynamic, that has lots of buildings and tree houses and forests and castles and roads, we have tools for that to build it all for you in a matter of minutes. How many characters can play at the same time? Like in one console, maybe. Right. So on, on a single console, like if we're in the same like if we're on the same couch, we can put two on and it'll split the screen and we can play split screen. Okay. But if we have friends that are on the internet, we can play up to four players okay. on the internet. Yeah. And yeah. it's gonna be available in what platforms, you know, like on the Sure. Just just about all of them is the answer. We're going to be on the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, okay. the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, the Nintendo Wii U, the the PC, iOS, PlayStation Vita even. We're on just about everything. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And it's all very customizable as well. I can change this to this nice blue track. And we this game is not it. only for boys, you know, there is oh. character for girls, like I saw Maleficent, you know, there's Frozen, there's... We got Merida, we have Merida as well. Yes, in fact, we're not showing it here, but we also have the ability to create toy box interiors. So you can make the inside of a house, you can decorate it any way you like, you can bring in furniture and wall hangings and rugs, you can change the lights, and so you can decorate it. We've got, we've got nice manly Marvel decorations, okay. but we have plenty from all walks of Disney awesome. in the interiors. Awesome. Awesome. All right. I can't wait. I can't wait to see this game. I'll show it to my girls either. <laughs> uh, to girls. They're going to love it. Uh, I have two subs. Yeah. So this is kind of a gist of what the toy box is, yeah. And it's all shareable. I can send this to Disney. I can save this world, send it to Disney. They can elect to publish it for anyone to download and play. So even if I don't want to build my own toy boxes, every week I'm always going to have new ones I can get from Disney. Okay, oh, yeah. that's cool. Very, yeah. very nice. Very cool. Lots of replay value. It makes an, a, an outstanding value.